These are the new Soundcore Aerofit Pro as well as the Aerofit. Both of them are primarily designed for runners, cyclists and people who like to do outdoor sports while listening to their favorite music and still being able to fully embrace their surroundings. So uh, definitely not me. But I like good sound quality and since the Pro versions promises to be the best in terms of sound quality you can get in the so called open ear bud category, I wanted to see if they are as good as advertised. The only other pair of open style earbuds that I have used a couple of times before, roughly 10 times, are the Shox Open Fit True and I'm going to compare them with the Pro model of the Aerofit right after the intro. So Soundcore was kind enough to send me both earbuds roughly 3 weeks before launch, so I had enough time to test them out beforehand. I will mostly focus on the pros, since these are in my opinion the more valuable earbuds when comparing them with the Shox OpenFit True. Let's begin with the weight, which is crucial for open style earbuds. Soundcore's Aerofit Pro come in at roughly 12 grams per earbud, the regular model comes in at 8.5 grams. So both of them are still very lightweight and you can definitely forget that you are actually wearing them when going about your daily tasks or in your sporty case running outside. Comfort wise I like the Aerofit Pro better, since I have quite a big pair of ears as you may see, these fit tighter around them and I don't have to adjust them as often as the non-pro models and also the Shox version. I had to fiddle around with them quite often to get them to sit in a comfortable space for me to wear them actually without noticing them too often. This does not happen with the pro version, but on the regular ones it happened more often than not. So if you have bigger ears I would definitely go for the pro version over the regular ones. In terms of codex, the Aerofit Pro come in with all the regulars you'd expect, such as SBC, AAC and something I actually did not expect, LDAC. And in my opinion it is a bit weird to get a high res codec for your outdoor open earbuds that aren't designed to focus on giving you the best reproduction in terms of sound quality you can have. But I guess it's better to have it than not. Also on board is the newest Bluetooth codec 5.3 which guarantees fast and reliable connection with your smart device of your choice for up to 10 meters. Now that we actually talk about surprises I wasn't expecting another thing with the Aerofit Pro and that's the rather lackluster lackluster IPX water rating when comparing it with their cheaper brother the Aerofit. The pros come in with an IPX5 rating which lets you still go jog in the rain and is considered splash proof but not waterproof, so no swimming. Whereas the regular Aerofit sport an impressive IPX7 rating, which means they are waterproof and can be submerged in 1 meter deep water for up to 30 minutes. So this means you could actually take a shallow swim with them and they would still blast your favorite tunes into your ears. Even though I think it will sound quite weird using them underwater. Next up we need to talk about features on the Pro model. No, of course, they don't have any A and C, but that's kind of obvious. Instead we get multipoint connection, which I find rather cool and it worked very well in terms of switching between two devices, iPhone and MacBook in my case. And there's also fast charging, and this time it's really fast charging, which gives you an additional 5.5 hours with only 10 minutes of charging, which is quite something in my opinion. And we also get spatial audio. Yeah, I was actually also looking like you right now. Spatial audio on an open earbud. When I first read this I was kind of baffled. Why would you want spatial audio while running and doing sports? And then it somehow dawned on me, of course this could make a lot of sense. When you're outside for example running, you're constantly looking to your left and to your right watching to see if something is coming, you're searching and reacting to different noises that come in and so on. So keeping your music in the right direction is actually a great idea. This not only gives you a sense of direction and above all it centers you a bit to the front. But now the more interesting question in that case is, is it any good? Not really. Yeah, it does keep your audio in the same place, but the sound quality is getting really bad while actually doing it. So for my taste I wouldn't use it, especially not while compromising on what these are actually pretty good at, sound quality through air conduction. These sport an impressive 16.2mm driver and can deliver sound better than any of the other two open earbuds I have actually experienced so far. They sound better, fuller and more lively than the regular Aerofits, which are also okay, but the pros are better. Even though 
just by a touch. They deliver rich mids and also some bass along with some highs. For my taste, especially for an open ear style, but these are good. I tested them with some electronic cyberpunk inspired music and I liked what I got to hear. And of course, also with some more metal and pop music as always. Everything sounded quite okay in my opinion. And now for the grand finale. The best feature is these. The pros give you 14 hours of runtime on a single charge. Yeah, 14 hours. That's actually quite impressive. The shocks open fit through give you only half of that at roughly 7 hours. The total runtime for the Aerofit Pros comes down to 46 with the case, which is pretty good in my opinion, uh, enough for a marathon. Also double of what the shocks actually have. And this also goes for the regular Aerofit model, which comes in with an impressive 11 hours of runtime, which is still quite good in my opinion and 4 hours more than the shocks. Also last on my list is the environmental spill of the sound. Uh, there is none. At least at 50% max volume. I asked my partner about if they could hear anything and she said no. Now when it comes to call quality, it's as always, your turn to decide. Here's an example of all the three open earbuds and their call quality. This is a mic test of the Aerofit, let's call them regular. And I'm going to read you something from a small little grown box called the phone clip. The game changing ultra fast and versatile clip for all your smartphone needs. Attach in seconds, both vertically and horizontally. This is the mic test from the Aerofit Pro. And as well, I'm going to read you something from the Edelkron phone clip. The game changing ultra fast and versatile clip for all your smartphone needs. Attach in seconds, both vertically and horizontally. And this is the microphone from the Shox OpenFit. And I'm going to read you the same thing as before. By Edelkron Spawn Clip, the game changing ultra fast and versatile clip for all your smartphone needs attached in seconds, both vertically and horizontally. If you'd like to go longer with better sound quality and, just like me, do have bigger ears than your sports partner next door, then these will guarantee to bring you more joy than most other open earbuds. I really like them and couldn't find any negatives when it comes to sound leakage, battery life, or the quality of reproduction. Of course, earbuds designed to plug your ears do have better sound quality. But these are one of the best that I've tested so far in the open ear category. But I guess these aren't the last ones since somehow out of the blue I get quite a lot of different manufacturers knocking on my doors right now with a lot of different open ear styled earbuds and I find that interesting. So guess more videos are incoming. As always, my name is Leech and I'm off writing the next scripts. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. There are plenty more of this type of content and many other things available for you to watch. Have a great day, see you around and goodbye.